The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You talk about tiny? You talk about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one goes for 36 yards. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Play fake here on first down. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Oilers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to 0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Throwing to start the drive. Scott. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't come in. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw, Scott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get him going.
to throw with Scott on third down. There's Chris Olave. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Now here's a throw that's complete. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Operating from the gun. Scott. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And he is going to have a Saints first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Kamara up the middle. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Tackle there by Big Jordan Davis. That's a really nice tough run inside, and he gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Straight ahead, ETN. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Operating from the gun, Scott. And he's got his tight end, that's Smith. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Jumping all the way from the outside, maybe getting a little early start in the corner blitz. And the only time it makes sense to get that penalty is exactly as you described. Otherwise, he should never get that penalty. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Back to throw. Scott. They'll try and set up the screen to ETM. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. But well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Here's Scott. Throwing on first down. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, 
want to play mistake-free football, well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. He'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. It feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Okay, ready. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. On the return, Hardy. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They are in the second quarter down in Miami. It's the Dolphins that have jumped out to the early lead against the Patriots. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Now ETN to start the drive. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Big Christian Barmore was there on the tackle. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Now Scott on first and 10. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this one is incomplete. There is something to a game plan of trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. to throw again. Scott. And he comes back with one complete. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this one taken in by Alave. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. 
A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 37. And that is no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. Well, I'd say that it's fair to say that nothing has gone right in this first half for them. Even here, you've got a chance to at least get on the board. But that goes by the wayside. And now, this coaching staff, they've got to figure out some way to wake this team up at halftime to get them going. Ready. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. One second, all that remains. They'll throw now on the final play. He sets to fire deep. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And this is going to be returned from middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stock troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. From the gun, it's a run for Camaro. And a healthy gain of eight here. They double their workspace out to the 16. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Scott to throw on third down. And Ingram holds it in. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it in a double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. Scott now on first down. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 22 yards there, a first down. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. 
Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. It's Tariq Castro-Fields who picked it. Trotty! And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. Haven't done it to scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here, and that one, it backfired in a big way. An extra point by Bass, up and good, and it's now 21 to nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. To throw with Scott. To throw on second down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Well, still down quite a bit here. Several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. No question that was needed by the defense because they're already trailing by a couple of scores. They had to get off the field without allowing another one. That sack on the first play, that may have derailed this drive. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. And the tight end goes in motion left. Back to throw here. He'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But he reminded us that he was a 1,000-yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief.
They'll set up a throw. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Dawson Knox, a five-yard touchdown. And the Oilers are looking good here. The season openers are able to extend their lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it is 28-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here. This one's pretty much all but over. All right, saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home to the final destination. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Second down and eight. Etienne up the middle. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Looking to throw. Scott. It's caught. Smith. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career. And maybe more importantly, a first down. to throw. Scott goes right back to Smith again. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And does the defense have it? They do, says the referee. We're going the other way. Okay, this isn't one where you want to take the game tape and hold it up as an example. Do you? I mean, you talk about frustrating all the way through. And that last error, I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely. That's been representative of their entire game still being shut out. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over, following the fumble recovery. And this is caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Oilers are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field 
winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go out and prove it. They have two sides to that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes this 35 to nothing now. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. Brought down by Nazi Johnson. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Looking to throw. Scott throwing out right here, caught by Alave. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. Now a first down carry. It's Camara. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. Here's Scott looking to throw on second down. Slant pass complete to Alave. The quick slant, good for eight and a first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So a first and ten now in Houston territory at the 43. throw. Scott. That's a lob, eh? Bringing in another one. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Jedrick Wills, former first round pick, guilty there. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Looking to throw. Scott. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. to throw on second down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's going the other way. The 20, 10, 5, and that might just submit it. A return for a late touchdown. 
So this defense clicking early in the year, week one, the return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the offseason to improve this defense. I have to say they like the early returns. Extra point by Bass, up and good, and it is 42 to nothing. So probably should have opted for the touchback. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. It's been a tough go for them. It's still without any points here in the fourth quarter. And a big deficit, Charles. But they moved the football on some drives. They just haven't had any points. Yeah, I know in their minds they're thinking the game plan has actually been working. We just haven't scored points. Well, isn't that the bottom line, partner? To put points on the board? So if you're moving it and you're not scoring, is it really working? Right now, they've got nothing left to lose. They might as well go for it. 